Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. This is video 2 of a series on how to upgrade your Windows 7 machine in order to make it into a Windows 10 machine. To save time and hustle, the second step after the backup, which was explained in a previous video, is to reset the system to the factory defaults which is again a clean install of Windows and then we will proceed with the next steps. So in this video, in this video I will show you the exact steps how to set the system back to the factory defaults in Windows 7. Have fun with the video. This is your Asus laptop from the previous video. In order to reset Windows you need to press F9 when it boots. That is what I'm going to do now. The system will load a setup environment which will create a factory default Windows 7 installation. Once the environment is loaded we are asked to pick our language. We can choose from German, Finnish, French and English. Of course I select German. In the next dialogue we are informed that this particular installation and setup media is for Asus laptops only and will not work on any other machine. This claim is open for debate. In this dialogue I choose to install Windows on one partition and so the hard drive will have one partition which is accessible for the user. In the next dialogue we are warned for the final time that this will erase any data we are storing on the system right now and it will proceed with the factory default in the next one. The whole process takes about 30 minutes after which we end up with a factory default computer. Now Windows starts normally just like the computer would have come out of the box freshly from the factory. Once Windows has started we can choose the language for the operating system. Again I choose German. For the regional settings again I choose German, Germany and then the computer requires a name which I put accordingly. We don't need passwords at this point in time. Of course you should set a password for your computer. The license agreement is as usual okay. We don't need updates at the moment because we want to go to Windows 10 anyways and the time zone is okay too. We can skip the Wi-Fi setup because I have a wired connection for the Windows 10 installation media. I always set the network connection to public. The next reboot will lead to the final part of the setup. Asus will customize the already installed Windows 7 according to their standards with a load of logware and other software nobody needs. Of course they provide the necessary drivers for the hardware. So that's a bonus. After the setup has completed the last tweaks are done to the desktops and the user's profile. Great, now we have a freshly installed Windows 7 with all the blockware on it. We could go on and just make it fit for use but in the end we would end up with the Windows 7 which is out of support very soon. So Windows 7 itself is useless at this point in time. But that is not what we are here for. Windows 7 will be the foundation of Windows 10 in our case. So the next thing we do is we swap the hard drive for an SSD. To do so we have to clone the hard drive to the SSD beforehand. But this is something for a later video. I hope you liked the video. Please feel free to comment, subscribe and like if you want to continue to see content like that and follow the sequel. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.